A demand for transparency over funds after cutting ties. It's the latest development in the months long feud between the city of El Paso and the Zoological Society. And the mayor and city council are seeking legal advice during Monday's executive session after the Zoological Society made several accusatory claims. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Teresa Ortiz has more on the story. To continue to attack the city and continue to come after the city because we won't give them a contract is unacceptable. Protecting animals, not positions. That's the reason City Council gave during Monday's work session meeting in regards to not renewing its contract with the El Paso Zoological Society. The discussion came after both entities traded exchanges over the weekend concerning the issue of transferring funds. Part of the previous agreement between the two parties was the society was able to sell memberships in lieu of the zoo's gate admission. 25% of these sales were to go towards zoo operations and promotions. The city says they have not seen those funds, since the partnership ended. In a news release, the society claimed the city is demanding all its funds without ensuring that the money would go toward the betterment of the zoo. The city responded by saying, quote, the city agrees the funds must be used in accordance with the donor's wishes. However, the most recent donation information and amounts are far below the amounts reflected in their balance sheet. Mayor Oscar Leeser saying it's time to move on. They change faces and it's time for the city to move forward and change face on how we're going to do and how we're going to continue to make sure that we have the best interest of the community and our citizens. The next step will be a mutual audit of both the zoos and society's finances. The society releasing a statement Monday evening that it formally accepts the city's offer for a full comprehensive financial audit. That was Teresa Ortiz reporting for over six decades. The Zoological Society oversaw the zoo's volunteer program and conducted fundraising events and activities, responsibilities that now fall on the city to carry out.